Hey guys, welcome to your 11th Java Beginner's Java tutorial, and in this tutorial we're finally going to be making our first program uh, in Java, and what that program is, we're going to be creating a function to add some numbers together, and if the numbers are too big, it's going to not allow the function to continue, and it's also, we're also going to use while loops and maybe a for loop to execute the add thing a certain amount of times. So to start off um, you can see the basic structure here with our main and we're going to make a new function or sorry I'm calling it a function because I'm used to kind of PHP but in Java it's called a method so um, if, you ever, if ever you hear me saying function I mean a method so we'll create our method first of all and we're going to make it a public method and it's not going to return anything and we're going to call it add and in the parameters we need a number a and a number b to add together and we're simply going to write a or rather we're going to make an int called answer and answer is equal to a plus b now that we have that um, we're going to first of all check in our before we print it out to the screen we're going to check if the numbers aren't too big so we're gonna say a hundred is the max so we're gonna say if a which is the first number the user enters is um, less than or equal to a hundred then we're gonna allow it to continue um, and then I'm gonna write else so if it in other words if it's greater than 100 we're gonna print something to the screen system out print line and it's gonna say number must be below 100 and also we're gonna check uh, if it's under we're also gonna check if it's over zero in other words if it's not a minus number and to do this in the if statement uh, we're going to need to check two conditions and to do this you do two ampersand signs uh, which is shift 7 on your keyboard and I'm going to also say as long as a is greater than or equal to zero. And in our little comment, uh, number must be below 100 and above zero. So now that we've got our first check for our number, now we're going to need to check number b. So inside our if statement still, um, we're going to want to check b now. So if b is less than or equal to 100 and it's greater than or equal to zero then we can execute the next part um, otherwise we're going to say else system out print line and we're going to say well first of all we'll add a to this number a and I'm just going to copy this actually number B must be below and if all of these if both of these check out if both of the numbers are between 0 and 100 we're going to want to print out the answer and that's system system out print line and answer there we are answer so just to recap uh, we've made a new method called add and we have a number A and a number B for the user to enter which we'll add together. We've then created a variable called answer which is equal to number A plus number B. Then we've created an if statement that says if A is less than or equal to 100 and it's greater than or equal to 0. So in other words if it's between 0 and 100 we're going to continue on to the next bit if it's not, if it's lower than 0 or above 100, we're going to print out to the screen number A must be below 100 and above 0. And so if this, if it is true, if it is between 0 and 100, it will now check number B. So if number B is less than or equal to 100 and it's greater than or equal to 0, it's going to print out the answer. Um, if it's not, it's not a valid, so we're going to say number B must be below 100 and above 0. So hopefully uh, that will make sense. Uh, now we're going to come down to our main method and we're going to use this method. And we're going to run this method 100 times with a while loop. Now this is going to get 
this is going to be a little more complex, so, um, what's the word, or phrase, pay attention, there we go, um, pay attention carefully to this. So we're going to create an integer called um, count1, and that's going to equal 0, and an integer called count2, and that's going to equal 100. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add to count1 every time the loop happens, and we're going to minus from count two. So um, I'm just going to show you now. So while we open our parameters, and so we're going to need to say while count one is less than or equal to 100, because that's going to count up to 100, and count two is greater than or equal to zero. And then in our while loop, first of all, we're just going to say count1 plus plus, and we're going to say count2 minus minus. So just in case I've lost you, we've made a while loop, and we're saying run this while loop whilst count1 is smaller than or equal to 100, and count2 is greater than or equal to 0. Then we've said count1 plus plus, and count to minus minus. So count 1 is going to cycle up to 100 and count 2 is going to cycle down from 100. We're now going to use our add function to add the count numbers together every single time um, the loop is executed. So we're going to write add which is our function or method sorry that we made up here add and we're going to give it number A and number B and that's going to be count 1 and count 2. So, and the error is because we're inside a static method, so we're going to need to make our add method static. There we go. Now, what this is going to do, once more, is I've already explained this bit to you, but it's going to run this loop a hundred times whilst counting up from 100 and down from 100, and then it's going to add those numbers together as it goes. So let's just run this now and see what happens. And, I, of, uh, of course, I didn't really think this through, but, of course, as long as one is counting up and the other's counting down, they're always going to equal 100. So, that's a bit boring. So, I'm going to simply change. Instead of adding A to B, I'm going to times A to B. And now, if we run this... As we can see here... <clears throat> a lot more interesting than adding them together. We can see that we've got it starts at zero because zero times one hundred is zero. Then the second time it goes round, um, uh, count one is now equal to one and count two is now equal to ninety nine. So ninety nine times one is ninety nine. It then goes two times ninety eight, then goes three times ninety seven, and so on and so on. And then our final number that we reach, it counts up to a max of, let's see, 2,500. And then it counts down, all the way down again, and it reaches this. And I'm not sure why it's stopped there rather than zero, but anyway, that is it for this tutorial, guys. But hopefully um, you're a bit more satisfied now that we've um, applied... We've applied our methods and our if statements and our while statements to an actual program that could do something potentially useful. So that's it for this tutorial. Please subscribe.